So according to certain surveys, around 30% of U.S. households actually take the time to prepare a budget, which means 70% don't. Over 60% have no clue how much money they spent last month, and over 60% due to inflation are now living paycheck to paycheck. So today, we're going to talk about budgeting. So today I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how I budget. I'm going to show you my budget sheet. We're going to go through it and everything. And before I get there, I would like to talk about the importance of budgeting. Now, if you want to skip all of that and you just want to get to the meat, you can go to this timestamp right here and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So let's talk about the benefits of budgeting and there's a lot of them, but I'm going to break it down into three separate things. The first is kind of obvious, but it's a plan. It's a financial plan that helps you reach certain financial goals and having a plan gives you complete control and also gives you clear goals so that you know where you're headed. So it can help you plan for emergencies, for investing, for big purchases, and even retirement. I've been reading a lot of different articles and a lot of them say that people are literally saying it's going to take a miracle in order for them to be able to retire. And I would imagine that a big reason is because they did not budget, they did not have a plan. The second thing is debt. Budgeting can and will help you get out of debt. Matter of fact, I made a video about how budget Budgeting helped me and my wife get out of debt quickly. So you can check that out up here as well as there will be a link in the description if you want to watch that. Watch this video first and then, then go check that out. And the last and probably the most important thing is budgeting gives you accountability. When you put together a budget, it's like holding up a mirror to yourself. It gives you a clear picture of what you are doing with your finances, how much you're spending if you're spending too much, how much you're saving if you're saving too little, what income you're bringing in if you're spending spending more than you are receiving, it makes you accountable for how you're handling your finances and therefore empowers you to make those changes and adjust accordingly. Okay, so let me open up my budget sheet. I'm going to show you guys how I, I do my budgeting. So while I'm opening this spreadsheet, I do want to let you know that this is available for purchase on Etsy. Now, the purpose of this video is not to sell those spreadsheets necessarily, but if you're someone who likes what you see and you do want to take advantage of something that I already built, please feel free to buy it. I'm not going to be mad at you. All right, so now we're done with the cringy promotion. Let's proceed. Okay, so right here we have our monthly budget spreadsheet. So let's just go through it real quick just to show you what it looks like and how it's organized. So right here is where you put your income sources. So basically what you make on your job, side hustles, or you know, if someone gives you birthday money, that goes in this section right here. Um, right next to that is your summary section. This is when you start putting in all your information into the different fields. It's going to totally Total your income, your budget, how much you spent, your debt total, your savings total, and just gives you an overall picture of what your budget looks like. Down here is sort of the meat and potatoes of the budget spreadsheet. Right here is where you put what you're spending and budgeting on certain things, and I kind of categorize them just to organize it a little bit better um, so that when you are looking at your budget sheet, you know exactly where to put things and you kind of organize it however you feel, whatever's best for you. Um, but this is where you can decide where to make cuts or where to you know increase what how much money you're putting into something down here is kind of the same section i just kind of separated it a little bit because i wanted your debts and your savings to kind of stand out so this is where you can do a little bit more planning when it comes to how much money you're saving and trying to get rid of how much money you owe in here um there's nothing here now but these are just tables and graphs to show you guys uh what your budget looks like um from a bird's eye view sort of so i'll show you what it looks like once we start putting in values. Okay, so let's start it. Um, I'm going to put in what I guess would be considered an average income job one four thousand dollars. Okay, as you can see right here in the total summary, I'm sorry, in the total income, the four thousand dollars populated automatically. Another thing about this spreadsheet is that you only enter in values where there is blue. Everything else you don't have to fill out. So let's say in addition to your job, you also have a side hustle. So I'm just going to put in side hustle thousand dollars a month so now we know that we need to budget for five thousand dollars a month and what we're going to shoot to do is we're going to shoot to do a zero base budget meaning we're going to account for every single dollar that we um, are bringing into the home and over here this budget color code that i forgot to tell you about this is going to tell you where you are with the budget that you are putting together if your budget is complete the total budgeted area will turn green if you are over budget, it's gonna turn red. If it's under budget, like it is now, 
it's going to turn orange or remain orange. All right, so down here, we'll select the month. Right now, we are in November, so let's just select November. All right, so we're gonna put in the amount for, let's say, a mortgage, and repairs, HOA, groceries, restaurants. I'm just gonna do a rest for short. Now, the first way I'm gonna do this is I'm not gonna think about the numbers I put in. I'm just gonna put in the numbers, and then we're gonna go back and see what our budget looks like. All right, so let's go down here, car note, credit card and student loan. These are minimum payments. You could pay more, but we're just gonna operate like it's minimum payments. What are we saving for? I don't know, um, vacation. We're gonna put $200 towards that. So if we come up here, as you can see, we are way over budget. So we're about $1,200 over budget and this is what happens when you don't have a plan you just end up spending money based on how you feel or what's in your head you're not really thinking about how much money is coming in and how much money is going out so now that we can see how much money is actually going out is more than the money that's coming in we can adjust so we can adjust the things that we have to pay such as bills and your mortgage and things like that so we're going to adjust the things that are unnecessary all right so let's say we don't need to eat out this month maybe we don't eat out at all we definitely don't need to spend 300 dollars on shopping all right we got so much debt i'm just gonna say let's eliminate shopping this week date night uh let's cut it down to 100 gift let's cut that down to 50. we can cut down a little bit on gas we don't have to drive as much as we usually do car wash we're just gonna wash the car at home we're not gonna go to the car wash we're gonna wash it at home save a little bit of money we're gonna come up here to repairs now i initially just put in repairs because i have what I like to call an emergency fund. So when things do break down in the house, if it's something that my home warranty doesn't cover, then I'll have a stash that I can go to in order to fix something in the house. But let's say nothing's broken and this is just me saving. Because this month is a little tight, we're just gonna take it off completely. Vacation, I wanted to save $200 this month, but I'm gonna have to cut that in half as well and only put $100 towards my vacation fund. Now, if we scroll back up to the top, you can see that we are under budget. Now, this might seem like a small amount to be under budget, but again, the importance of a zero based budget is so that you're giving every single dollar a job. So let's go back in and figure out how to get this extra amount into our budget. I'm going to put this $43 towards repairs. It's not a lot of money, but I like adding to my emergency fund so that while I'm trying to pay off debt, nothing can set me back and send me further into debt. And now we can go up to the top and you can see our budget is complete. Now that was the easy part. Now what you have to do is when you spend the money, you have to make sure you come in here and update what you're spending in the spent column. So let's just pretend it's the first of the month and we're going to enter in how much money we're spending at the top of the month. So the first thing we're going to take care of is all the bills. All right, so now that we put in how much we spent, you can see that it's calculated in our summary section. And it's also giving you the total of how much debt you have left and how much you have in your savings. Before we go further, as you can see with this budget sheet, you can already tell that a lot of your money is going to bills right away. So there's two things that you need to do. One, I would recommend trying to increase your income which means increasing your side hustle work or maybe asking for a promotion for your job or finding a new job that pays more. The second thing is decreasing some of your expenses. You can get rid of some subscriptions. You can try to budget better when you're buying groceries. Maybe you don't need to spend $500 on groceries. And as you can see over here in this section, this just gives you some visuals so that you can actually see the things that I'm saying now. You can see that most of your money is going towards housing. Um, the second largest is going towards debt. You can see it even better here with the spending distribution chart. Now, what you can do is when you actually spend under budget, you can go back and adjust your budget for the things that you haven't spent. So in this example, when we went on date night, we only spent 80 bucks. So you can adjust this to 80. The gift that I bought for my friend's birthday I only spent 40 bucks instead of 50. And now when we go back to the top, you can see that we are under budget now. So now we have $30 we can put somewhere else. So if it were me, I know because I did my budget that I need to get rid of debt as fast as possible. I would put it towards the car note because I use the debt snowball method in order to get rid of my debt faster. Shameless plug, you can check out the video where I talk about that. Link is in the description. And like I mentioned before, I do have a debt tracker sheet, which is right here, which is what I would use to kind of map out and follow how I'm trying to get rid of my debt. So that's pretty much how I do my budget. I like to go in, I like to put in how much money that's coming in. I take my time and go through 
all the different categories to see where money is going, where I can make cuts, where I can save, where I can spend more, where I need to spend less and things like that. There's a book I wanna encourage you to read called Everyday Millionaires. And it's not a self-help book, but it's a book that gives you information. And one of the pieces of information that I found interesting in there is that they surveyed over 10,000 millionaires. And out of the 10,000 millionaires, 93% of those millionaires budgeted. Not only do they budget, but they stick to their budget. These are regular everyday working people like you and I who were able to, again, achieve great financial success and they did it while budgeting. So budgeting is super important. Budgeting is what helped me get out of debt super quick. So um, I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. If you have any questions or anything to add, please leave a comment down below. So I'm gonna stop the video right here because it's time to play with my little, my little girl. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. It's your boy K-Soul, peace.